Welcome to the second video in the blocking series. In this video we're going to look at a blocking board. Now there are many blocking boards available to the crafters. Um, some are perspex, some are wood, some are um, cardboard. Um, the issue of the board is not that much, but the issue of the pins is, is a serious matter. Don't buy a blocking board that's got wooden pins because they splinter and they um, snag your projects. Don't buy a blocking board that's got um, iron pins because they rust and they will give off the rust onto your project. Um, what I'm using now um, is a blocking board that is sold by Boho Yarns and Accessories and what is very unique about this one you will see that it's got a lot of holes. Many of those that you buy in the shops have only got holes like this in a cross shape and that actually doesn't work very nicely because if, you, if you've got a big block and you only catch the corners and you stretch it too far you will see that it, it um, how can I put this, it loses its shape because there's nothing pulling on the thing here on the sides but just on the corners it will actually make that shape instead of a nice square. So I prefer boards like this that's got a lot of holes and a lot of pins. With this board you will get 68 pins, aluminium pins, enough to go right around the board so you can block 30 by 30 centimeters with this board. So let's start putting these small ones up. You will see if you look at them they are all the shapes, they haven't been blocked, they curl and whatever. Once they are blocked, you have a very nice square to work with, especially to start joining because they will all have the same shape. Now because the pins are so long, I can stack quite a few on top of each other, but I want to spray each one. So we give it a quick squirt and then we put the next one on top of it. that and a quick squirt and we go for the next one now if you are crocheting squares like this for a bigger project it's actually nice to place each one on top of the on, um, on the board as soon as you finished it so you have this little growing stack of squares Okay, I'm not going to put more on there because it's going to take too long to dry. So let's take another one. Let's make a second stack. There we go. Spritz, spritz. Blocking finishes a project off to look more professional and give it that ultimate wow factor especially if you start working with garments garments needs to be blocked it just looks so much better we will look at that in the next video there we go spit, spit. And the last one. Okay, I'm now going to leave this and when we come back they will be all dry and then we will see what they look like there. Our little squares are dry and ready to come off the blocking board. So let me show you what they look like. I'm just going to pull out the pins and look at that. Perfect little squares just waiting to be joined. They look so much better than before they were blocked. The corners are nicely open. The sides are nicely straight. You're going to have a beautifully professional project just because you went the extra mile and you blocked your motives. <laughs> 